Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even do this for my main channel. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh. oh, for Hey, 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 hey. Hello. So today Delilah and I are having a very tiny little day trip. I decided to go to clinic today, but in the next town. I usually go to the baby clinic to get her weighed maybe once a month. And I go to the one in our town, but it's actually a bit of a trek to get to. So I thought I might as well go to the one in the next where my friends from our antenatal class go to because then I can hang out with them for a little bit afterwards. Slight problem, I've just come to get the train and usually the train goes from this platform. Turns out it's on the other platform and it's got about three minutes until it leaves. There's no way I'm gonna make it to the other side of the station and down the lift and onto the train in time. So I'm gonna have to wait on this platform for the next train but the problem is the next train is expected to be delayed and it will mean that I probably won't make it to clinic on time. So I'm gonna have to wait another week to get her weighed, but I'll at least get to see a couple of my friends from antenatal, so it's not, too, it's not too bad. She's just staring at me. She had a good old nap earlier just before we left, so there is no chance she's gonna fall asleep anytime soon. So I'm just rocking her to hopefully keep her quiet. Oh, in other news, I have hit 100,000 on this channel. <laughs> Very much thanks to Zoe and Alfie who mentioned me in one of his vlogs a few days ago. About 24 hours after he mentioned me, I hit 100,000 subscribers and Doug and I were watching the little live subscriber count thing ticking away and it kept going 199,999 and then like down to like 98, 97 when you were like come on come on come on. But yeah finally at 100k um which is really cool because I mean lots of you know that I have another channel which is at like 220,000 plus so um it's not like a big deal in that sense but it's a big deal because when I made this channel I'm gonna walk a bit because she looks like she's getting a bit agitated but when I created this channel I just kind of made it as a side channel. Most people five years ago or so would have a main channel and then they'd have a little side vloggy channel where they could do videos like this. And so I just made it thinking nothing would really come of it. The fact that I've hit a six figure subscriber count on this channel, okay, I'll keep walking. Um, it's just bonkers um, and really cool because I've really been enjoying doing this channel. trying to say little one what's up oh, i know i'm excited to see your baby friends too oh they're not that scary oh is that so cool? well that's not very nice delilah that's not very nice she's got a couple of new bits on from baby zara how cute are these pants and this little cardigan <laughs> Okay, is that better now you can see everyone? Yeah. We've just come into the little cafe waiting room area because there's no way that she's going to lie down still for 20 minutes. So we're going to have a little cuddle, aren't we? We've got about 20 minutes until the train comes. So we're just going to wait here for a little bit. We're almost there and Delilah is fast asleep, which is typical because I've now got to take her to get weighed. We're just going to wake her up. I text my 
friends and said I don't think I'm going to make it in time for clinic but I'll still meet you um, but they said that um, I'll still be able to make it just to get her weighed got off the train and it turns out that the lift is out of service so Delilah was fast asleep and I had to get her out <laughs> so someone could carry the pram up the stairs because there's about 20 30 steps to go up flipping egg the lift in my station's broken as well and there was no one around to help me get it up the stairs so I had to go down the whole platform sorry I'm really out of breath find someone that works here and said can someone help me get the pram up the stairs but luckily there's a secret back exit which they opened for me so we are back well we're back in town we're not we're not back home i'm sure you guys understand but i haven't vlogged anything because one i was in a baby clinic with lots of naked babies so that's not appropriate to film <laughs> and two i was um with a few of the girls for my antenatal class again with their babies so i didn't really want to film heading back home now um, i'm gonna stop off and get some food shopping look how pretty all the leaves are Oh my goodness. Just picked up some more of Delilah's new wardrobe. And I got a little package from Minnie Bowden. She's got a new sleep suit, which was a bit pricey. Don't spend that much on all her sleep suits, but it was so cute not to get. Then she's just got a little body to go under jumpers and short sleeve um, rompers and things like that. I want an excuse to buy these squashes. Look how cute they are. I might have to get one. For dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna do salmon with some roast vegetables. So I'm gonna do an onion courgette uh, leek and one of these squashes and then do something with a potato, roast it or mash it or something. <laughs> Oh, look at your little chubby legs, Delilah. Look at your little chubby legs. Ooh. One thing that keeps her occupied for a little bit is popping this hood down and walking under these trees. She just loves it. <gasps> is it a tree? Oh, should we go under another one? Go over here. <gasps> More trees. What is that? What is that? I would love to know what goes on in a baby's head. Like they must be looking up at that tree and they don't think, oh, that's a tree. They just think, oh, I don't know what they think. <laughs> they probably just think, oh, this weird, weird shaped thing. I mean, they don't even know what a shape is yet or they don't know what colours are but they kind of do but they kind of don't like they're seeing them but they don't know what they are I'm gonna head home now it's such a nice evening honestly like I've always liked autumn but this year I'm loving it even more than I normally would every day I walk past this little restaurant here and it looks so cute it's not open at the moment, but here in the window, they make the pasta fresh. Such a cute little Italian. Like every time I walk past it with Doug, I keep saying, I wanna go, I wanna go. It just looks so cute. And I wanna make the effort to go to more independent restaurants and go to restaurants I've never been to before. Instead of just going to the same old chain restaurants like Strada, Prezzo, uh, Carluccio's, all of those places. I wanna go to new places. Um, <laughs> she looks very happy right now. Are you very happy right now? No, you stopped. You were smiling and just flapping your arms around, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Stop. Let me go and focus. Let me go and focus. Come on, come on, come on. This is awkward standing in the middle of the road trying to get into focus. Bloody hell, this stupid camera. Right, sorry guys, I'm just going to have to be a, a, bl a blur. <laughs> I need to get a new camera, I don't know why, it's been so slow to autofocus. But yeah, like I said, I want to I want to try new places and I really like the look of that place. And I just want to go there and have some really good homemade pasta and a nice big glass of red wine. 
sounds lush <laughs> so I, I i think maybe some point in november i might get doug to take me there for a date night <laughs> i'm such a child and delilah you can kick around in leaves this time next year because you'll be walking and we'll have so much fun <laughs> Mummy's going to stop putting on this annoying voice because I'm sure everyone is getting very frustrated with my silly little voice. Let's get some toys. Lovely smile, you beautiful little girl. Hello? Hello. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're just having playtime on the floor. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Is Nana Sam going to come visit? Is Nana Sam going to pop round? <gasps> let's read a book then before she gets here. And let's read If I Were a Rabbit. <gasps> If I were a bunny rabbit, my tail would be fluffy. My nose would be wrinkly. Tummy time. I'm going to have a chubby little wrist. Hello. Can you see yourself? <laughs> my mum's just called and she's in the car at the moment on her way home and she thought she'd just pop in and say hi. So that's a nice surprise. I always love how if I vlog here you can see the toilet in the background, lovely. Um, I have a banging headache, so I'm going to go down some water and have a paracetamol. Yes, so my mum's going to pop round for a little bit and then I'm going to cook dinner for um, Doug and I. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to talk quietly because I'm giving Delilah one of her last feeds before bedtime. I know people say talk normally around her so they get used to noise and you talking and i do in the day but it's almost bedtime now so i don't want to disturb her because she's just having a sleepy feed we've given delilah a bath and put her in her gym jams she smells so good she smells of burt's bees a bubble bath which smells like honey and um this shampoo that she has um i don't know the brand but it just smells so nice I love it when she's just had a bath and she's all clean. I started doing dinner and Doug's just finishing it off. Now. Oh, it's the final of Bake Off. I'm so happy with the lady that won Great British Bake Off. I said to everyone, great, did I say that properly? Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I said to everyone that she was gonna win from day one and she won. Delilah's been asleep for most of the evening on me and Doug's just changing her into a nappy before she goes to bed properly. I'm gonna start putting her to bed a lot earlier because one, it means that Doug and I get a little bit of an evening before we go to bed and we can have dinner without having Delilah crying or sleeping on me or feeding but yeah we're gonna try and do that but it's just the one that when I did it last week I got her into her crib at half seven and it was brilliant we had the evening to ourselves and then went to bed but she then afterwards woke up every two hours that night but then she does that on other nights as well and I think in my head I'm thinking oh because she went to bed earlier she woke up lots but I don't think it is like I always say some nights she wakes up once and other nights she wakes up every two hours I can't seem to find a correlation as to why she sleeps for longer some nights than when and why she doesn't on other nights she's just still at that age where I don't think there is anything that's particularly making her sleep longer some nights and not other nights she's just still really young and it's so common for babies her age to still wake up lots especially because she's breastfed um, I was formula fed from day one and my mum can't believe how much Delilah feeds but because I was formula fed I never ate as much and I slept through the night um, a lot younger I'm gonna say goodbye I feel like the night was cut off short I was gonna talk to you guys about a few things um but it's late now and i need to go to bed and i need to take my makeup off because dog will be finished with delilah in a second and um she'll she'll want to feed so i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed the vlog um again thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers yeah i don't know how 
how interesting or fun this vlog was today but I guess I'll see when I edit it so I will see you guys in a couple of days and it will be one of the last vlogtobers maybe not sure